Have you ever wondered how the vibrant city of Hong Kong came to be? Well, let's delve into the captivating tale of this city's evolution. It's a story that begins in the shadows of antiquity with a humble fishing village nestled on the southern coast of China. This was a place where fishermen lived in harmony with the rhythm of the sea, their lives governed by the tides and the seasons. But as centuries rolled into millennia, this tranquil existence began to change. The arrival of British traders in the mid-19th century marked a turning point. Lured by the promise of tea, silk and porcelain, these merchants sought to establish a trade foothold. The result? The ceding of Hong Kong Island to Britain in 1842, following the First Opium War. The British influence transformed Hong Kong from a quiet fishing village into a bustling port, a place where East met West and where the seeds of modern Hong Kong began to sprout. This period saw the construction of iconic structures like the Clock Tower and the Star Ferry Pier landmarks that still stand tall in the city's skyline today. Then came the 20th century, a time of turbulence and change. World wars, civil unrest and the rapid industrialization of Hong Kong ensued. Yet, amid this chaos, the city's spirit remained unbroken, its people resilient, its culture vibrant. The final twist in Hong Kong's historical tale came with the handover in 1997. After over a century and a half of British rule, Hong Kong was returned to China, becoming a special administrative region. This marked the beginning of the one country, two systems principle, where Hong Kong maintained its capitalist system while being part of communist China. This journey through time, through tumult and transformation, has shaped Hong Kong into the city we see today. A city that is a melting pot of cultures, where the old coexists with the new, and where the East blends seamlessly with the West. And so, we find that Hong Kong's intriguing history paved the way for its unique blend of Eastern and Western cultures. What's the weather like in Hong Kong? Well, Hong Kong dances to the tune of a subtropical climate, a mesmerizing symphony of warm, wet summers and cooler, dry winters. The city is kissed by an average annual temperature in the mid-20s Celsius, although it's not uncommon for mercury levels to tease the early 30s during the height of summer. The warm season, from late May to mid-September, is a time of high humidity and frequent showers, with June and August often playing host to the heaviest rainfall. But don't let that deter you, as the city truly comes alive under the summer rains. Winter, on the other hand, is a different story. From December to February, the city cools down, with temperatures dipping to the mid-teens. These months are generally dry, offering a respite from the summer humidity. So whether you love the heat or prefer cooler temperatures, there's a season in Hong Kong for you. How does an average day unfold in Hong Kong? Picture this. The city awakens as the first rays of the sun peek through the towering skyscrapers. The symphony of urban sounds emerge, the distant hum of the MTR, the clatter of chopsticks, the chatter of Cantonese conversations. This is Hong Kong, a city that never truly sleeps. As the morning rush hour hits, the city pulsates with energy. The MTR stations fill with people of all walks of life, each with their unique story to tell. Business professionals in sharp suits, students buried in books, elderly locals on their daily errands, all carried along by the rhythm of the city. The markets of Hong Kong are a spectacle in themselves. Whether it's the bustling wet markets, where you'll find a kaleidoscope of fresh produce, or the vibrant flower markets, offering a fragrant respite from the city's concrete jungle. Hong Kong's markets are a testament to its rich cultural tapestry. You'll hear the vendors spirited haggling, a melody that signifies the city's vibrant trade spirit. As the day progresses, you'll find a striking contrast in the serene parks dotted throughout the city. Amidst the towering skyscrapers, these green spaces offer a peaceful retreat. You'll see Tai Chi practitioners moving in harmony, their graceful motions a dance against the city backdrop. Here, the frantic pace of city life gives way to tranquil moments. Then there's the food. Oh, the food. From dim sum breakfasts to late night street snacks, Hong Kong's culinary scene is a feast for the senses. Each bite tells a story, a blend of traditional Cantonese flavors and modern culinary innovation. As evening falls, the city transforms. The skyscrapers light up, mirroring the stars in the sky. The streets come alive with the buzz of night markets and the clinking of glasses from rooftop bars. Yet, amidst the city's vibrant nightlife, you'll find quiet corners where locals enjoy late-night conversations over a cup of milk tea. Life in Hong Kong is a blend of fast-paced city life and peaceful moments. 
Each day is a symphony of sounds, a collage of scenes, a dance of movements. This is Hong Kong, a city that truly lives. How much does it cost to live in Hong Kong? Let's dive into this dynamic city's economy and market prices. Living in Hong Kong, one of the world's major financial hubs, has its own set of financial considerations. The cost of living here is one of the highest globally, a fact reflected in the price tags of everyday items. When it comes to food, a meal at an inexpensive restaurant will set you back about 70 Hong Kong dollars, while a three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant can cost around $500. Groceries also come with a hefty price tag, with a litre of milk costing around $23 and a dozen eggs going for about $33. Public transportation in Hong Kong, on the other hand, is relatively affordable. A one-way ticket on local transport costs around $12. If you're thinking of owning a car, though, be prepared for high costs. Petrol prices hover around $20 per litre, and owning a vehicle includes other substantial costs like parking and maintenance. Clothing prices vary widely based on where you shop. At high-end boutiques, a pair of jeans can cost over $1,000, while at local markets or fast fashion outlets, you could find similar items for a couple of hundred dollars. Let's shift our focus to the income side of things. The average monthly net salary in Hong Kong after tax is around $20,000. Meanwhile, the per capita income, a measure of the average income earned per person in a given area in a specified year, is approximately $46,000 US dollars. So while the cost of living in Hong Kong can be high, the city's vibrant economy also presents numerous opportunities for financial growth and success. It's a place where hard work can pay off handsomely, and the high living standards reflect the city's economic prosperity. Living in Hong Kong can be a bit pricey, but it's also a place of great economic opportunity. Where do people live in Hong Kong, and how much does it cost? Well, Hong Kong's housing scene is as diverse as it is captivating. The cityscape is dominated by high-rise apartments, towering over the streets, offering a bird's-eye view of the bustling metropolis below. These architectural marvels range from luxury penthouses to more modest yet equally charming flats. But it's not all skyscrapers and city views. Nestled away from the hustle and bustle, you'll find traditional houses, where a slice of old Hong Kong still thrives. These homes offer a stark contrast to the modern high-rises, providing a heartwarming reminder of the city's rich history. Now, let's talk numbers. Hong Kong's rental market is known for its high prices. A modest apartment can set you back a pretty penny, with some of the city's more luxurious offerings going for the price of a small fortune. Yet despite the high cost, the unique living spaces in Hong Kong are part of its charm. What happens when the sun goes down in Hong Kong? In a city that never sleeps, the transformation is nothing short of magical. As night falls, the cityscape of Hong Kong is bathed in a kaleidoscope of neon lights, and the metropolis comes alive in a symphony of sound and color. Let's start with the bustling night markets. Temple Street Night Market, for instance, is a labyrinth of stalls selling everything from trinkets to electronics, from clothing to local street food. The aroma of stir-fried noodles mingles with the chatter of vendors, creating a sensory experience that's uniquely Hong Kong. From the markets, we journey to the world-renowned nightclubs of Lang Kwai Fong. Here the music is pulsating, the cocktails are flowing and the energy is electric. It's a melting pot of cultures, with locals and tourists alike dancing until the break of dawn. Whether you're into jazz, house or the latest pop hits, there's a dance floor in Hong Kong calling your name. But what about those who prefer a quieter night? Well, Hong Kong has that covered too. Picture this, a moonlit stroll along Victoria Harbour, the skyline twinkling in the water's reflection, the gentle hum of the star ferry as it sails by. It's tranquil moments like these that show a different side to Hong Kong's nightlife. Then there's the beauty of Hong Kong's women, their grace and strength a reflection of the city itself. Women in Hong Kong are a blend of tradition and modernity, of East and West. They're entrepreneurs, artists, scientists, mothers, daughters, friends, they're leaders in their fields, pushing the boundaries and breaking the glass ceiling. Their beauty is not just skin deep. It's in their spirit, their resilience, their passion. So whether you're haggling over prices at a night market, dancing the night away in a club, or simply soaking in the city's nocturnal beauty, Hong Kong's nightlife offers something for everyone. It's a city that celebrates diversity, 
where every night brings a different adventure, a different story. Hong Kong's nightlife is as diverse and beautiful as its people. What are the must-see attractions in Hong Kong? If there's one thing Hong Kong is known for, it's the iconic skyline that lights up the night, a spectacle of modern marvels. But beyond the towering skyscrapers and bustling city streets, there's a rich tapestry of culture and history waiting to be explored. Start your journey with a visit to the peak. As the highest point on Hong Kong Island, this spot provides a stunning panorama of the city and its surrounding sea. A tram ride to the top is an adventure in itself, a thrilling ascent to the best view in town. Next, immerse yourself in the tranquility of the Man Mo Temple. This place of worship, dedicated to the gods of literature and war, offers a serene escape from the city's hustle and bustle. The air, heavy with the scent of incense, and the sight of ornate lanterns hanging from the temple ceiling, transport you to another era. For a taste of local life, make your way to the vibrant markets of Mong Kok. Here, you can haggle over everything from electronics to exotic fruits. The ladies' market, in particular, is a treasure trove of fashion, accessories, and souvenirs. No trip to Hong Kong would be complete without a visit to Lantau Island, home to the majestic Tian Tan Buddha and the serene Po Lin Monastery. Standing tall at 34 meters, the bronze Buddha statue is a sight to behold. The journey to this peaceful island, whether by cable car or by ferry, is a memorable experience. Finally, set sail on a traditional junk boat for a cruise around Victoria Harbour. Witness the symphony of lights, a dazzling display that illuminates the city's skyline every night. It's the perfect capstone to your Hong Kong adventure. There's more to Hong Kong than meets the eye. From its towering skyscrapers to its tranquil temples, from bustling markets to serene islands, the city is a blend of the modern and the traditional, the fast-paced and the leisurely. There's truly something for everyone in Hong Kong. What should you know about Hong Kong's education and health systems, and what should travelers prepare for? Well, let's start with education. Hong Kong's education system is one of its shining stars, offering a high standard of learning from primary school through to university. Primary and secondary education is compulsory and free for all children, with a curriculum that focuses on fostering creativity and critical thinking. At the tertiary level, Hong Kong is home to several world-class universities, providing an array of courses to local and international students alike. Now, on to health. Hong Kong has an excellent healthcare system, combining both public and private sectors. The public healthcare system provides comprehensive services to all residents at a low cost, while the private sector caters to those seeking more personalized care. But remember, even though healthcare is inexpensive, it's always wise to have medical insurance to cover unexpected needs. As for travel, Hong Kong is an exciting destination with much to offer. But before you pack your bags and head to this vibrant city, it's important to note that visitors are required to have valid travel documents, including passports and visas. Check your country's travel advisory for the most up-to-date information. Immunization is another key aspect to consider. While there are no compulsory vaccinations required to enter Hong Kong, it's recommended to be up to date with routine vaccines such as measles, mumps, rubella, diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis. Depending on your travel plans, you might also consider vaccines for hepatitis A and B and typhoid. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before you travel. Lastly, make sure to respect local customs and traditions. Hong Kong is a melting pot of cultures and respecting these differences can enhance your experience and make your trip more enjoyable. With a bit of preparation, you can enjoy everything Hong Kong has to offer. So, are you ready to explore Hong Kong? We've taken a journey today through the intriguing history that shaped Hong Kong, diving into its past and seeing how it has blossomed into the vibrant city it is today. We felt the warmth of its climate and immersed ourselves in the hustle and bustle of daily life. We've navigated the dynamic economy, exploring market prices and the realities of housing. We've danced under the neon lights, appreciating the beauty of the nightlife and the people. We've wandered through the city's top attractions, marveling at the blend of the old and the new. We've delved into the education and health systems, understanding the city's commitment to its citizens. And of course, we've prepared ourselves for a visit with travel guides and necessary immunizations. Hong Kong is a city of contrasts, 
where tradition and modernity coexist, ready to be discovered. Will you take the journey? If you've enjoyed this comprehensive guide to Hong Kong, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more. Our journey doesn't end here. We've got a world to explore together, and your support helps us bring these fascinating places directly to your screens. Remember, each like and subscription is a step towards another adventure, another city, another culture to unearth. So are you ready for the next journey? Click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and let's continue exploring this beautiful planet together. Until our next adventure, keep exploring.